Next, let's take a look at geospatial AI, our recent advancements and what it can do for you. Let's get started by defining what it is. Geospatial AI applies spatial machine learning and deep learning techniques to help solve complex problems and derive deeper insights in very powerful and innovative ways. And as we do this, we are expanding the power of GIS itself to support two kinds of systems. In assisting humans, which we call human in the loop, so the expertise of humans comes in along with augmentation from AI, and then building fully autonomous systems itself. RTS is an end-to-end -end geospatial AI system. By that, what I mean is, right from the time you access the data and prepare it for labeling, all the way through model training, QA and validation to inferencing and being able to inference at scale in production environments. And then of course the loop back into taking the right uh, decisions based on the outcomes from these uh, inferencing methods. All of this is possible within the system, but when you look at it from a user point of view, you can experience geospatial AI in different ways. First, it starts with the core of it, RTS.learn. It's a module within the Python API. And within that, you can do everything that I showed in the end-to-end -end system. And then if you went beyond, we have pre-trained models that are readily available for you to deploy into production. We spent a lot of compute and curated data to come up with these models and validate them. For some of you, it'll be ready for use. For some other cases, you might want to bring in your own data and do some transfer learning. It's like a localization process, you can say, and then you can validate and deploy it to production. And then there's the aspect of bringing these models as ready-to-use tools within RGS that you're always familiar with, analytic tools. There, it's like geoprocessing that is coming through. And lastly, some of you are building ready-to-use apps and solutions, and in this case, the fact that it has AI in it is unseen to the user. You just use it because it's better. Today, we are excited to introduce a few of our users, developers, and data scientists to show you the use of geospatial AI in real projects. I'd like to introduce Rohit, who's going to take us on a quick tour. Rohit? I'd like to take you on a tour of geospatial AI. And as we go on that tour, I'd like us to make stops at four cities around the world where you, our developers and users, are taking AI to the field and solving real world problems. So let's get started. When we talk about geospatial AI, it really spans ArcGIS, but at its core, it begins with the ArcGIS Learn module of our Python API. This module makes it super easy to train a wide variety of geospatial deep learning models on your data. You can bring in data from ArcGIS, feed it into any one of the 30 or so geospatial deep learning models that we have support for, fit the model to the data, and once you're satisfied, save it out as a deep learning package that you can then use with ArcGIS. This module has support for oriented and overhead imagery, 3D point clouds, featured tabular and time series data, and even unstructured text. We have models for nearly every kind of feature extraction task from imagery, including models for object classification and object detection, and for pixel classification and instance segmentation. We have recently added models for edge detection that can be used for extracting residential and agricultural parcels, a state-of-the-art model for road extraction, as well as models for change detection and for image translation, both from other images as well as from images to text, that is, image captioning. For 3D data, we have the point CNN, point cloud classification model. And at this release, we have added support for processing mobile point clouds, as well as the ability to use multiple models with one point cloud for categorizing buildings, trees, and ground points in this example. To complement the geoprocessing tools in ArcGIS Pro, the fully connected network allows you to take data from feature layers and feed it directly into a deep neural network, giving superior results compared to most machine learning models provided you have enough training data. Speaking of which, the machine learning model, we call it ML model, 
It lets you easily integrate ArcGIS with any classification, regression, or clustering model from the popular scikit-learn library. Another feature that I'm very excited about is the addition of the time series network to ArcGIS Learn. This model brings the power of deep learning and convolutional neural networks to time series forecasting. Now, geospatial data doesn't always come packaged in, in file geodatabases and shapefiles. It's often in an unstructured format such as text-based reports. That's another area where deep learning has done exceedingly well. And at this release, we have added an entire sub-module called arcgis.learn.text for natural language processing. With the entity recognizer model, you can extract geospatial information from the reports that you just saw and bring them to a map. The module also has models that can take in incomplete addresses and determine the country they belong to with near perfect accuracy or automatically correct spelling mistakes in addresses and normalize them to a standardized format that's suitable for geocoding. But you don't have to train all such models yourself. The text submodule lets you use open source NLP models for these tasks and more. And what's great is that such models are available for English as well as several other languages. So to recap, ArcGIS Learn is a module of ArcGIS API for Python and has support for dozens of geospatial deep learning models. I can't wait to see what you do with them.